All right, so last time I told you guys that I traded my C10, 1969 C10 for a, for this thing, for a Jeep, 2003 Jeep uh, TJ, already souped up like this. It's already been modified like crazy. <clears throat> I know a lot of people are going to say like, oh, that was a dumb trade, but I just lost interest in the C10. I did, I did do a lot of work to it, but I just lost interest. Um, I completely took it off the frame. I was gonna do a whole frame off restoration and I painted the frame, redid the whole suspension and everything and I just I just really lost interest. I think because we moved and we just had a lot of other projects, kids growing up and everything. You know. But I had no time for it, so I put it up for sale and somebody a bunch of people asked me um if they wanted to trade other things and other trucks and money or lower the price everybody wanted to negotiate but whatever but then this guy uh messaged me that he wanted to trade this guy this jeep and it runs great it's a standard transmission which is what i wanted i kind of wanted it i didn't really want a jeep i was thinking about getting a a uh, toyota land cruiser but this thing came up and well i got it so it's got its own little cb uh Standard transmission. It's got the full roll cage up here. Full roll cage all the way to the back. So it's pretty well taken care of and it's got a soft top. That's the only thing I wish I had a hard top, but it doesn't. It's okay. It's got the nice full size spare, the swing out spare on the back. Um, it's got a bunch of parts, but now that I'm really looking at it, now that I'm crawling under it and everything, I'm starting to see all the little flaws like the wiring and everything this guy wasn't really that good at wiring he wired everything directly to the battery like the stereo the um, winch does go to the battery but that's fine uh the spotlights up there those little rough country spotlights uh the cv was wired directly to the red everything was wired directly to the to the, the battery rather and uh yeah so i i fixed that already fixed the wiring uh it's got this really really nice winch up here with the synthetic rope already on there this thing is pretty expensive it's got the whole bumper sway bars springs fox shocks everything down there is heavy duty arms and everything everything has been changed out it's got that nice little cover on the differential which is the next project is which i'm probably going to start today is to put a locker on it so i got this the other day in the mail nice little aussie locker so that's going to go up here in the front in the back i'm not going to do one in the back not yet i don't think i really need it for what i'm going to do i don't think i really need a locker in the back but eh, we'll do it maybe one day so it's got a dana 35 in the back and a dana 30 in the front because it's a tj it's not a rubicon i don't have the 44s but it's okay it's all right. I'm not gonna beat the heck out of this poor little Jeep. And we took it off-roading once already and it did, it climbs everything. It, there's no issues anywhere. Um, so I noticed that the, the clutch is, well, I asked the previous owner if he's ever changed the clutch. He said, no, it is, it's a deep clutch. Like you really have to push it all the way down. So it's probably pretty worn already. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and change the pressure plate also. I'm gonna, I got a heavy duty one coming in the mail. Uh, so while we take everything down, I'm gonna go ahead and change out the bearings. Uh, I'm gonna check it, change out, what else am I gonna change out? The rear main on the motor, cause it does have a slow oil leak, which these motors always do. Um, so I'm pretty much gonna restore it. I'm gonna restore it to all its glory before our trip. Um, and I am gonna make that trailer. So I'm in the contact with a man right now about a trailer that he has had forever, an old neighbor of ours, and he just has it in the front yard. So maybe I can get that real cheap and I could just build off of that because it's not a big trailer. It's a small trailer, all steel. It's, it's a nice little trailer. So we'll see where that goes. Okay, so that's the Jeep. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put in that locker. So I gotta take some things out of the way like that, that little shot rough country dampeners right there and you take those off just to get to the differential and make it easier and then after that 
I need to probably drop the transmission. Go ahead and drop it so I can get ready for that clutch. The whole clutch kit and everything is coming in the mail, so that should be fun. Okay, so that's the Jeep. That's what I traded that C10 for that I used to have. C10 was an awesome truck. It really was. It was a beautiful truck, but and it was a real short bed. It was a 69 with a 68 front end. So I changed out the whole front clip to a 68, and it was sweet, man. It was nice. But now I have this guy. So that truck is gone. It's in the past. So now that's on to this toy. Okay. All right.